early, it's the morning, it's the weekend, you're having a cup of coffee. Have your cup of coffee, I'm going to wait for you guys to get in here. Because I am so excited about uh, about tomorrow. I know I released a static video about it, but tomorrow is going to be absolutely huge, right? So we have Michael Levine, uh, author of three huge books. This guy is considered the very best undercover operative in the past 20 years. Bar none, fact, without a doubt. So let's get people in here for a second. Let me know in the comments where you're from. So Michael Levine's wrote several books. He's considered the best undercover operative of the past 30 years. This guy has been involved in some of the biggest cases that you have and have not heard of. He was not just undercover. This guy was deep cover. We have Eastern Florida, Tennessee, Real Talk with Mimsy Limbs. What's up? So check this out. This guy goes from being in the DEA to doing something called a Mr. Big. Now that's where a DEA agent or a government agent pretends to be this criminal underworld figure. If they have a suspect that won't confess, we'll say M-Star's in the chat. M-Star's is this bad person. They think committed a crime, but M-Star won't confess. By the way, 38 in the chat, nine thumbs up, smash that button. So what I would do as an undercover agent is I would approach M-Star and I'd say, hey, I'm this big criminal entity. I'd start like making her do illegal things, having her run guns, having her count money, stuff like that. Really bad stuff to get her comfortable. Then I'd be like, hey, listen, M-Star, I'm hearing that you committed this crime and I don't care. We're all criminals here. But damn, I want to know what happened so that way I can cover my bases. Don't piss me off. You know the guns I got. You know the money I have. Then, M what's up, No Justice? M-Star freaks out, and then she confesses to me, thinking I'm this underworld figure. And then that confession is brought against her at trial. Well, in Canada, it's been totally outlawed. It's not being used in trials anymore. And tons of convictions within the United States are, are looking at these cases, and it's no longer used in court either because... They just don't see the effectiveness of it. You know, you're, com you're and plus, at that point, when is it confession and when is it bravado? Because now you're not really confessing to a crime that you did. You're confessing to something that you think is going to impress this big criminal underworld element that you're, you're spending your time with. Guys, 40 people in the chat, 18 thumbs up. Let's get that up. So, this guy, Mike Levine, goes on, he catches people. But not only does he catch the bad guys, he starts catching undercover operatives. He starts catching other DEA agents working in collaboration with the FBI, with the CIA. You're going to hear about it tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But this guy was involved with the CIA working domestically, reintroducing drugs to our streets. So then he goes on to become a trial expert witness in coerced confessions. He currently worked in the Atif for K and the Burns case, uh, where these guys are wrongfully convicted and they've been in prison for the past 20 years for something they didn't do. So this guy is absolutely awesome. He can give us background into his experience, being an undercover operative, a deep cover operative. He can let us know about all the huge cases that he's unraveled and how wrongful convictions are really based many of the time on coerced confessions. Also, you think someone says, well, I've seen that person before. Do you know three out of four overturned convictions are from bad eyewitness testimony? This stuff is going to be awesome. You're going to love it. So check us out tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with our interview with Mike Levine. Lori. What's going on, Lori? So check us out tomorrow. This is going to be awesome. He's going to answer my questions, your questions. Then we have another huge bomb to drop on you. This is all great stuff. And I appreciate you guys for being here. And uh, there's more to come. Keep in mind, that's the reason I stopped you today. And get your questions ready. Because this is the first big guest that we have that can cover from exposing bad guys to exposing bad cops to being witnesses to you know really just picking apart how bad the justice system is. 4% of people incarcerated are wrongly convicted. That means they're doing time for a crime they didn't commit. That's about 90,000 people. 
sitting in jail for something they didn't do. Of that 4%, under 1% ever have those convictions vacated. And that's a tragedy. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned. Netflix star, retired DEA undercover agent Mike Levine comes on. And then we have some more stuff to drop for you. So I really appreciate it. Everyone go subscribe to Tucson Lori. M-Star, Mr. Diddy, Banana Ranner, everyone else in the chat, and that's the reason I stopped you today.